Okay, let's go over your FIBA World Cup review, awards, all tournament team, brackets, Olympic qualifiers, and more. Your MVP of the World Cup, Dennis Schroeder for Germany. Absolutely showed out. Congrats to Dennis Schroeder. He had an up and down season with the Lakers. He had up and down past couple years in the NBA, but international level here, he is him. Here's your all-star five. These are just the top five players in the tournament. There's no particular position. Dennis Schroeder, point guard, your MVP of the tournament from Germany. Shea Gillick's Alexander, Canada. Anthony Edwards, Team USA. Bogdan Bogdanovic for Serbia. And finally, Luka Doncic for Slovenia. For Luka, he averaged 31 minutes in this tournament. He made 32% from three, 53% from two, 77% from the free throw line, seven rebounds, six assists. So basically... Whew, he averaged 27 points a game, six assists, and seven rebounds. Just unbelievable. He will be an MVP of the NBA in the next couple seasons. Just absolutely crushing it. Anthony Edwards is him for Team USA. What did he do? Uh, he just had 35 points in one game. USA records 38. He averaged 18 points a game, four rebounds, two assists, 16 efficiency. Really did a great job. He led Team USA, and he brought them back multiple times when they were down. Shea Gillick's Alexander. This was probably his welcome out party, and OKC doesn't get a lot of light. They crushed the last season. He will be a big star. He was MVP caliber player last season. He was all star last season. Expect him to take step ups this season, and he's a star in the NBA. What did he just do? Oh, he averaged a 30 efficiency. Unreal. He averaged, he averaged 25 points a game here, six assists. Only one turnover while handling the ball basically the whole time with six rebounds. And he shot 30% from three, 63% from two. Bogdan Bogdanovic, helping Serbia get to the finals, plays for the Hawks. Efficiency 21.6. Uh, he averaged 19 points a game, four assists, three rebounds, and did a great job. He led Serbia when they don't have their star forward, their star NBA Finals MVP, two-time MVP Nikola Jokic. So imagine Bogdan and Nikola in the Olympics next year. Good luck. And then finally, Dennis Schroeder. Don't mind that picture in the top left. The website messed it up. Efficiency 17.6. He led the whole German team to the finals. They got the championship. 19 points, six assists, two rebounds a game. But what really mattered was he was that man for Germany. He led the ball down the court every time. He was him for Germany and deserved that title of MVP. Best coach goes to Latvia head coach Luka Benci. He helped Latvia get to their fifth place in their first ever World Cup, which is massive to be able to get into the knockout round and not just knock around to fifth place. He also led the team to a fantastic 21-3 record since he took over before the World Cup pre-qualifiers. Latvia plays a beautiful brand of basketball with 24 assists per game. They did not qualify for Olympics yet because it's the top two teams from Europe, which means it's Serbia and Germany, but expect them to get into those Olympic qualifiers, which they did, and be able to get out of that to move into the Paris Olympics. Best defensive player in the tournament, Dylan Brooks. He was him on defense. He was known in the Grizzlies for his defense. His antics kind of got out of the way of it, but he's always been a good defensive player. She proved it here. This should help him rebuild, rebuild some confidence and rebuild that uh, aura that he has moving into the NBA season. Brooks more than gladly accepted any defensive assignment for bronze medal canalist, uh, Canada. He was able to go against Luka, Evan Fournier, against the U.S. He held Anthony Edwards pretty in check. He was him on the defensive unit and deserves this recognition. Your all-second team unit is Simone Fracino from Italy, Arthur Zagres from Latvia, Jonas Valanciunas from Lithuania, Nikola Moltenov from Serbia, and Franz Wagner from Germany. So notice here the different nations represented, and then we go back to the first team, Anthony Edwards. So Team USA only had one player when they're supposed to be the powerhouse the best. No, the, you can see that the international teams have caught up. This is not 1992 anymore, as Steve Kerr said. International basketball is massive. It's great. And that proves right here with the rising star, Josh Giddy from Australia. Giddy's only 20 years old, had a coming out part in the NBA this season, 
did it again here in the FIBA World Cup. Australia point guard is the first recipient of the Young Player Award. He averaged 19 points, 6 assists, and 5 rebounds per game for Australia. Who has qualified for the Olympics? South Sudan from Africa, Americas, Canada, and the U.S., Asia, Japan, Europe, Serbia, and Germany, Oceania, Australia. Host is France. Based off of the, how far they advanced in this tournament, they automatically qualify for the Paris Olympics 2024 next summer. The other teams can still try to get in there. So you can see here from 5 all the way down to 27, they have to uh, play in Olympic qualifying tournaments. So we will see how they do. That will happen early in the summer. You would expect, again, Latvia to be around there, Lithuania, Slovenia, Italy, Spain, Australia, Brazil, Greece with uh, Giannis back. Whew, there are some tough matches. The Olympics is not going to be easy. But be on the lookout, of course. Come back here to the Hoops Roundup, and when these start happening, we'll keep you updated. And, of course, the future World Cup will be happening during halftime of the championship game. The FIBA World Cup did a ceremonial passing off to the next uh, World Cup. Who is it going to be? It's going to be in Qatar. They just hosted the Soccer World Cup 2028. They get the Basketball World Cup. Excuse me, 2027, they get the Basketball World Cup. And some dignitaries from Qatar were there, and the dignitaries from the Philippines were passing it off. And here's a picture of that to represent it. That is your FIBA World Cup review. Awards, all tournament team, brackets, qualifiers, and more. We had a fantastic time here in Hoops Roundup every day, giving you the stats, information you need to know, keeping you up to date. And we'll continue to do the same when the NBA season starts. Congrats to Canada winning a third place game. First medal since 1930s in international basketball. Be on the lookout for this team in the Olympics next year. And of course, congrats to Germany on winning it all. First time ever winning the FIBA World Cup Championship for basketball. Now they can match the men's soccer team and say they're world champions. Dennis Schroeder is your MVP. Serbia. Valiant effort coming second. Congrats to all the teams who competed to just get here. And of course, thank you for watching on a daily basis or if this is your first time, please like and subscribe to this channel. We have Hoops Roundup, we have MMA Roundup, we have American Football Roundup, European Football Roundup, and so much more. Germany, Dutchland, champions, congratulations. Hoops Roundup, out.